Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Smile Down the Runway. Okay, I forgot. I am so sorry that this <laughs> is coming out Saturday night. I literally forgot that this came out on Fridays, and then I was like, I was on my phone a couple hours ago, and I was like, I know I was like, is there anything else? And then I look on YouTube, and I see ending for Smile Down the Runway, and I was like, shit. So... Only really, this will be the last time this is coming out on Saturday because, you know, um, I'll have it out next Friday, the day before I move and such. But, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two. And three, two, one, go. Because I'm surprised that, like, literally no one fucking messaged me about this. But I was just like, I know I had something else. And then I'm like, oh, shit. But that's not fair. But I mean, aren't they going to read a graduate high school and so essentially go to college? It'll be fine. They're adults. Hmm? I wonder how long the show is going to air for. I mean, is it going to get like 12 episodes or 24? I feel like it could go 24 episodes. I mean, Welcome to the Ballroom did that ish, and I loved it for it because I felt like there was a lot of story that they could tell. And with this show, it seems like they can. But who knows? <laughs> oh, congratulations! Of course you are, Jeezy. But... <laughs> uh, of course it's his dream, but... Makes him happy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
shoot, I'd take it. It was a nice outfit. Picture of right? <laughs> of course, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you go in there and you fucking rock his world. Demand to make you. <laughs> it's nice. <clears throat> You're just being passionate about it, and that's okay. You have no reason to apologize for it. True. But... I mean, couldn't you take him in as an intern or something? <laughs> Better say yes, damn it. Another job opportunity somewhere else. Can't really talk about it that much, though. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's a nice dress. Because the rest is up to him. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Yugi! Oh my god. <laughs> my shipping card, I can't do much.
No. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he has the worst. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You too. Oh, okay, never mind that. Like Jesus. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh, Jimmy, you must work them to the bone, like, oh my god. Mm. But you know, hey, you gotta eat. Sleep and breathe it. Oh. Well, there's the personality right there. Hey, Ida, you want to get up? I'm guessing this game show. Mm -hmm. Maybe you wanted it as a surprise. Hey, but they have potential. Oh, come on, Hajime. Give him a chance. So you try your best to gotta go in there, go back in there, and demand that fucking room. He's not gonna take no for an answer. You don't actually have to hire him. You can take him in as an intern. <laughs> That's okay.
Exactly. He's just saying that to prepare you. Any other person in the world, whether you're working for a magazine or, you know, e-news or whatever, I mean, they're going to say so many harsh things to make you want to quit. Oh, nice. I mean, he's all—he's also kind of an ass, but you know what? That's okay. I mean, working with him, you never know where you could possibly go after. Hmm. And if you wanted to work in literature, but you're working in fashion, you're then you're a reporter or a journalist. Oh, come on, just listen to him. Just give them a chance, damn it. This one. Let her prove herself. Oh, come on, damn it. It's just stress. It's okay. Damn <laughs> to James, dummy.
What the fuck? You have to tailor it to fit her. Fix the hand? Something? Oh! Oh! Oh shit. Okay. Samara, you have to do this! No, don't say that. You have time. Go my mask back. Can you do it within the 15 fucking minutes? And of course, I ain't gonna show up first. We gotta wait until next week, next Friday. Okay, so this next episode, episode three, is literally going to be him proving that he could do this. It is a very, from what I'm seeing, um, from America's Exxon model from like literally 2002 all the way to 20, whenever the very last season of, of it aired on the CW before it got a reboot on um, VH1, you can see how very stressful it is for the designers, the models, anyone else. Even if you sat and watched the Victoria's Secret fashion show, even though that is canceled now, or even, um, Rihanna's fashion show, even though they didn't really show the background of it, they really just showed up how it was made from start to finish and then the show itself. I do like it when some shows do show the background of what all the other people are doing, the designers, the fitting and everything. It's really nice. And that's why I love how America's Next Top Model does it, even though a lot of people say there is a lot of controversy that comes out of that show. I mean, it's a reality TV show, so of course you're going to get a lot of controversy from that show and i mean it's this show was a really good adaptation of some reality tv shows and mm, some recorded fashion shows that we've gotten to see over the years i'm just hoping that next week samara is able to prove himself him and chiyuki because you know the, it's them against the world no matter what <laughs> but honestly, as I said, yeah, it's them both against the world and they have to do it together because whenever, if one, you know, they're, they're there to pick each other throughout the pieces. When one fails, the other one is there to get them up and get them going to be their biggest cheerleader. They're, they're there for each other, whether, it, whether it's in the good or in the bad, no matter what the hell is going to happen with it, with anything that comes their way. I do like the designer. I think he's very interesting. I can now see why Chiyuki said that he has the worst personality, but I think there's going to be, it, it typically just depends on who you possibly work with. You never know with any of these designers out here in the world today, Lauren Conrad, Vera Wang, um, freaking, uh, oh my God, what is her name? Um, there's so many, I'm trying to think of one and I can't think, I've, I know her name, but I can't think of it. And there's so many women and men and other designers who are out here and you don't think it's stressful enough. Imagine the day of the damn fashion show. 
like freaking oh my god because this do i really think this designer baby fat like thinking about kamora lee simmons or any other fashion designer who has started and how stressful it is the day of the event and you're in whether it's in tokyo london paris new york city anywhere and it's fashion week and all that stress gets to you and you don't know how to feel and sometimes you just have to be some people love it and some people can thrive in it and some people can't it just depends on how you know you can deal with a stress of people being like and yelling at you all around the same time and i know that samara and Shikiki both have the potential to do this they're just going to be tested on next friday and i hope that everything goes well, but we ain't gonna know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Smile Down the Runway. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, 100% positively, I will see you guys on Friday before I stream, at least, because I don't know what time I'm streaming at. Um, but for episode three, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.